At least 14,000 children in Kenya are born each year with sickle cell disease. In the absence of newborn screening and appropriate treatment, majority of these children die undiagnosed in early childhood from preventable causes such as malaria and bacterial infections. A person with sickle cell disease can live a long and active life as long as they undergo regular checkups by a doctor. Bon, Boniface, bon, Boniface Otieno is one such patient and he has lived with the blood condition for 21 years. On commemoration of the World Sickle Cell Day, we caught up with Otieno, who considers himself a sickle cell ambassador. At the age of 21, born Sevik Otieno looks young for his age. When we arrived at their home in Gatwekera area in Kibra, he looked free and tired. He had not eaten for more than 24 hours due to effects of sickle cell treatment. He has been battling with a blood condition since childhood. Uh, one thing I am doing is cover parts of the body. Like for instance, I am doing a lot of And I am doing a lot of things. So from that time, back as I, I'm going The condition not only took a toll on his health, but adversely affected his studies. At 21 years, Sevik is yet to join college. There's a lot of discrimination. What on a college I buy? Like I remember, I was in most of the times. What I can say, I'm going to be like, watch your mouth, Gina Kayelo. I'm going to say, my nakas, Joe Vacado. His mother, Mario Tieno, says it has not been easy. Bringing him up. Because young will quatro, ni maumpi. Nika and the letter to Namnaio, Namnaio, Mutusa Kawa, Sasa, and Aisha to Mwili, Pole Pole. Mpaka Mutusa Kawa, Amisha Willi Kabisa, Sasa Mekonda. Determined to conquer the disease, Sevik took unto himself the role of creating awareness within the community. He considers himself a sickle cell ambassador or warrior. So first, John, anyone addressing these issues, because uh, I believe government plays its part. Like, you can on TV say, there is a TB advert, you can on TV, there is an HIV advert. Maybe the government should also do something to create awareness to the community by doing adverts for sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease is a group of inherited red blood cell disorders. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, a protein that carries oxygen. Healthy red blood cells are round and they move through small blood vessels to carry oxygen to all parts of the body. The red blood cells of some people with sickle cell, which are normally round, are shaped like a crescent moon or a sickle and cannot transport enough oxygen around the body. Those with sickle cell can experience episodes of severe pain and sometimes lasting weeks. Very, very, very painful. Like when the skin comes out, when the oxygen levels are low in the blood, then the cells assume a sickle shape. According to the Ministry of Health, at least 14,000 children in Kenya are born each year with sickle cell disease. The disease is common across Kenya, with a high disease burden pockets in 17 counties in the western and coastal regions and Nairobi. A plastic anemia is another rare but serious blood condition that occurs when the bone marrow cannot make enough new blood cells for your body to work normally. While a plastic anemia is non-genetic, sickle cell anemia is a genetic disease. Both disorders require bone marrow transplant to cure. In May, a team of Kenyan doctors at the Nairobi West Hospital delivered what is believed to be the region's first ever successful aplastic anemia transplant on a three-year-old child. Mahadal Kase was diagnosed with the disease in March this year. Akuwa na kula, rangi yake pia ilikuwa yenye haiko ineleweka, alikuwa na weupe, wenye simu wa kawaida, na alikuwa na toa damu kwa mdomo. Ilikuwa mtani mkubwa sana kwa sababu, huu gonjwa hauja wahi tibi wa hapa kwetu, Kenya. According to hematology specialists, a plastic anemia is very rare, which is why there is no data even at the Ministry of Health on the condition.
So in this case, while we were, while the case was going on and we were investigating, the, all the blood results and the bone marrow in keeping with aplastic anemia. So although it's a benign condition, it's not a cancer, um, it behaves very aggressively if the counts are very low. So aplastic anemia can be non-severe, severe or very severe, depending on how low the blood counts are, because that's what causes the symptoms and the complications. Playful and cheerful Mahadal looks healthy. He only now requires regular clinic sessions for checkups for doctors to ensure there is no relapse.